Today's adventure starts at the fairy village. Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Papa. I made you breakfast. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Look at your card. To the nicest Papa in the world. How sweet. And no work for you today. You get the day off. That sounds good, but what shall I do? You can play. Who will I play with? The other daddies, of course. It's Father's Day for every daddy. Morning, Dad. Breakfast. Oh, what a lovely card, Ben. It's a picture of me waving from the elf truck. <gasps> the truck! I've got to make my food deliveries. No, Mr Elf. You've got the day off. But, but... Don't worry. Someone else is doing your deliveries. Oh, really? Who? Food delivery! Come and get it! What? Nanny Plum? Hello, Mr Elf. I'm in charge of your deliveries today. So you just sit back and relax. Sit back and relax with Nanny doing my deliveries. Where's the break? Oops. Oh, dear. Morning time. Hey, what? Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Ah, breakfast in bed. If only every day could start like this. But every day does start like this. You always have breakfast in bed. Ah, yes. Read your card, Daddy. You're the best Daddy in the universe. <laughs> and today you can do whatever you like. Yes, you're not the king today. You're just my Daddy. Marvellous. Now, make sure Mrs Fig's egg is nice and fresh. And don't forget the orange for Mrs Peach. Right, a peach for Mrs Orange. No, an orange for Mrs Peach. Yes, yes, whatever. Hey, hey, you forgot the egg. Hello there. It's the king. Hooray! Oh, I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble daddy, like you lot. And today, all the daddies have to play. Yes, here's a ball. Oh -ho! To you, Dad. To you, Your Majesty. To you. Oops. Yeah! It's Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Which scurvy scoundrel will be shooting cannonballs at me now? Uh, that would be me. Oh, begging your pardon, King Thistle. That's quite all right. I'm just a normal daddy today. All the daddies have the day off. Because it's Father's Day. Ah, I know. And that's why I brought this here card. Hello, Nigel. Hello, Fred. Seen Dad today. Hello. I've come to join in the fun. I'm sorry, wise old elf, but you have to be a daddy to have the day off. Actually, Holly, I am a daddy. I have three sons. Three sons? Yes, but I don't talk about it much. It's a bit uh, embarrassing. My eldest boy ran off to sea to make his fortune. He has a big red beard and he's a, a pirate. Happy Father's Day, Dad! Thank you, son. And from me too, Dad. Thank you. Redbeard, you never said the wise old elf was your dad. Well, pirates don't like to admit they have mummies and daddies. True, but they all do. And that's a fact. Captain Squid. Aha! What are you doing here, you scurvy old rogue? Keeping an eye on you, you blackguard, so you don't steal my treasure. Scallywag! Scoundrel! Ha-ha! Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you, son. What? Captain Squid is your son, too? That's, that's right! Oh, two of my son's pirates. But at least I have one son who's sensible. Guess what, Dad? I have decided to be a Viking. Ha-ha! Oh. <laughs> Food delivery! Oh, good. I ordered an egg. I haven't got an egg, but I've got an orange. Have you brought my orange? Sorry, Mrs Peach. Just out of oranges. Here's some broccoli instead. I don't like broccoli. Oh. But it's good for you. This is a lettuce, but I ordered a cabbage. Oh, for goodness sake. You're all so grumpy. We're only grumpy because you muddled our delivery. It's not like when Mr Elf does it. Oh, here. 
You can help yourselves. <laughs> Food delivery. Bye. <laughs> to you, Ben. To you, Dad. Let's see how high I can kick the ball. <laughs> ben? Hello, Mum. Did you kick this ball? Um... No, it was, uh, me. Oh, dear. This Father's Day game has got a bit silly, hasn't it? It's not as bad as last Mother's Day. Yes, you mummies know how to party. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's Mother's Day! <laughs> yes, maybe we did go a bit wild. Come on, daddies. Let's play in the meadow. Hooray! Let's play basketball. We'll need two nets. We'll need a referee. dum de dum de dee dee doo Nanny, we need a referee for our game. OK, what's the game? Basketball. Never heard of it. One team has to throw the ball into this net and the other team has to throw the ball into that net. And you can only... OK, OK, I don't need to know all the little details. Let's start. But I haven't finished telling you the rules. Yes, yes. Go on, Ben. Throw it in the net. Goal! Nanny, in basketball, you don't say goal. You say... Yes, yes. I'm awarding you five points. But that's too many. I decide the rules. I'm the referee. <laughs> Carry on. Remember, Daddy, you mustn't kick the ball. Oh, I see. I'll use magic then. Aha! <laughs> Goal! You can't use magic. It's Father's Day. What has magic got to do with Father's Day? Yellow card for being naughty. But I'm the king. Red card for talking back. Play on! <laughs> to that team. No, no, that's too many points. Oh, this will take forever. Let's make it easier. What if the ball had legs? <laughs> then it could score on its own. Hooray! This is too easy. OK, I'll make it harder. I'll give the next legs too. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Why don't you add some dragons? For good measure. Oh, that's a good idea, wise old elf. Dragons! <laughs> ah, so this is basketball. What a fun game. Well done, wise old elf, for suggesting it. But, but, but... Game over. What's the score, Nanny? What score would you like? Can we have a hundred million? OK, a hundred million points to this team. Hooray! We have a hundred million too. Yes, a hundred million points to that Hooray! team. Oh, that means it's a draw. Hooray! Ah, oh, what a great Father's Day this has been. It'll be hard getting back to my work tomorrow. Yes, it'll be hard getting back to my food deliveries again. Oh, the deliveries. Uh, I'm afraid it all went a bit wrong today. Mrs Peach wanted an orange and Nanny gave her broccoli. And I think I gave Mr Egg a peach. Or was it the other way round? It'll take weeks to sort this out. I'm quite looking forward to it. I really enjoyed Father's Day. It's a shame it's over. There's still a tiny bit of Father's Day left, Papa. I'll read you a bedtime story. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry. Ready? Once upon a time... A big bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed and he puffed. And then there was a loud knock on the door. Who could that be? said the princess. With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, the pirates set sail across the deep blue sea. Does the story have to be about pirates? Not about pirates. What else could the story be about? How about Vikings? Oh, OK. Vikings, then. The Vikings set sail across the deep blue sea. And on the way, they met a pirate! Yo-ho-ho! -ho! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
It's not bad being a father. Not bad at all. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Visiting the Marigolds. Hi, Ollie. Do you want to come and play? I'd like to play, Ben, but I can't. We're going to visit King and Queen Marigold. They're a bit snooty. I'm glad I'm not going. I wish I wasn't going. Maybe your mum will let you stay and play with me. Mummy, can I play with Ben today? What a good idea. Hooray! Ben can come too. Oh. oh. That's all right, isn't it, Mr Elf? Oh, yes. Go off and enjoy yourself, Ben. See you later. Bye. Oh, you're coming too, are you? OK. Magic car, drive on. This is fun. A magic car. Yes, it uses fairy dust to make it go. Cool. I want you all on your best behaviour today. Yes, Queen Thistle. King and Queen Marigold's home will be full of very precious things. Horrible, but precious. So you mustn't touch anything. Visiting King and Queen Marigold sounds like hard work. It'll be exhausting. Here we are. King and Queen Marigold's castle. Oh, what a horrible building. Such bad taste. It's beautiful. Cool castle. Hello and welcome. Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend Ben. You've met him before. Of course. The charming little goblin. I'm not a goblin. I'm an elf. Oh, an elf? How exotic. Did you have a pleasant journey? It must be so nice to leave your little kingdom behind for a day. Tell us honestly, what do you think of our castle? Honestly, it looks like a complete... It's very nice. I wish we had a castle like this, Mummy. Oh, before we had it rebuilt in plastic, it was made of stone. Imagine, how primitive. Our castle is made of stone. Ah, but you live in an old-fashioned castle. Mm, it must be very uncomfortable. Not really. Oh, you've brought your ladybird. <laughs> down, Gaston, down! Oh, that means he likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. Let's go inside. We'll give you the tour. Can Gaston come too? As long as he wipes his feet. <laughs> yes, if you could... All wipe your feet. And please don't touch anything. And if you could, try not to breathe too heavily. We've got lots of precious things. <laughs> As you can see, we've turned the idea of the hallway on its head. Ridiculous. Wow! It's all upside down. Amazing. Oh, where's Gaston gone? There's Gaston. He's walking on the ceiling. No, Daddy. Gaston's walking on the upside down floor. Clever Gaston. Hmm, yes, and I see he didn't wipe his feet. <laughs> Nanny, clean it up. I'm not your servant. That's right, Nanny. You're my servant. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, clean it up, Nanny. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Muddy footprints, away you go. Good. Now, where were we? There are 100 rooms in our castle. What do you do with all those rooms? We fill them, my boy, with things. This is our collection of pebbles. Pebbles? Oh, there is nothing quite as wonderful as a well-polished pebble. Oh, indeed. 
What do they do? They're beautiful. Please don't touch them. We don't want them to get sticky. Children always have sticky hands. No, we don't. Yes, you do. Do you think the pebbles look beautiful, King Thistle? What? Oh, yes. Very, uh, pebbly. This way. Ugh! Green fly. Mm. Good boy, Gaston. He won't be needing dinner now. Oh, I see you found our pet green fly. Lucinda, Gucci, and Timmy. Oh, but where is Timmy? Ah. Timmy! 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 Hmm, perhaps he's gone for a walk. Timmy! Gaston, spit Timmy out. <coughs> Ah, Timmy. Ah, oh, 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 playing hide and seek, were we? <laughs> now you may find the next room a little chilly. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Yes, this room must be kept well below freezing temperature at all times. All these lovely things are made of ice. They look very beautiful, Queen Marigold. Yes, they're, uh, cool. Please don't touch. Are they made with magic? Oh, no. That would be too easy. They're made from ice that froze over a thousand years ago. Ooh. And hand-carved by Norwegian mining pixies. These sculptures are one of a kind and simply irreplaceable. Ooh, a swan, that's nice. I like swans. Oh, dear. Nanny, what have you done? You've broken the swan's head off. It's all right. I'll magic another one. Abracadabra, make me a bird. Ice thingy. Nanny! That's not a swan. It looks like a hen. Or a duck, maybe. It looks lovely. I like ducks. This way, do keep up. This is our finest and most treasured collection of all antique toys. Amazing. You must play in here all the time. I could play here forever. This monkey is over a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> and this clown is over 200 years old. <laughs> Apparently, they were made at the Elf Factory by someone called the Wise Old Elf. We know the wise old elf. <gasps> you know the wise old elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairground ride. But sadly, it's broken. <laughs> worry. I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch. These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. <laughs> It's Mendes! Whoopee! Castle isn't boring at all. Yes, 
actually, it's quite fun, isn't it? Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs>